Unveiling Frontotemporal Dementia, Five Key Risk Factors for Individuals. Over 50, Part 2, Environmental and Lifestyle Factors. In addition to genetic and age-related factors, environmental and lifestyle aspects also play a significant role in the risk of developing frontotemporal dementia, FTD. For instance, recent research has indicated that individuals with a history of living in areas with high levels of air pollution may have an elevated risk of developing FTD. This association between air pollution and FTD risk underscores the potential impact of environmental factors on neurodegenerative conditions, shedding light on the multifaceted nature of the disease's etiology. Moreover, lifestyle choices, including physical activity and diet, have been identified as potential influencers of FTD risk. For example, engaging in regular physical activity and following a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and healthy fats may contribute to a lower risk of developing FTD. These findings emphasize the importance of adopting healthy lifestyle habits as a potential preventive measure to mitigate the risk of FTD. By understanding the influence of environmental and lifestyle factors, individuals may be empowered to make informed choices that could positively impact their brain health and overall well-being. Medical conditions and gender differences. In addition to cardiovascular disease and diabetes, other medical conditions have also been associated with an elevated risk of developing frontotemporal dementia, FTD. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Neurology found an intriguing link between obesity and the onset of FTD in individuals over 50. The research indicated that the presence of obesity, especially in midlife, was correlated with a higher likelihood of developing FTD later in life. This finding underscores the significance of addressing lifestyle-related risk factors, such as maintaining a healthy weight through balanced nutrition and regular physical activity in mitigating the risk of FTD. Moreover, investigations into gender differences in FTD susceptibility have revealed that hormonal influences may play a role in shaping the risk profiles for males and females. Specifically, a study conducted by the Cognitive and Behavior Unit at the Hospital Italiano de Buenos Aires highlighted the potential impact of hormonal fluctuations in women, particularly during menopausal transitions, on the risk of FTD. This insight prompts further exploration into the interplay between hormonal changes and the development of FTD, offering new avenues for understanding and potentially addressing gender-specific risk factors associated with the condition. As research in this area continues to evolve, it is essential to consider the multifaceted nature of risk factors and their intersection with gender-specific physiological variations when evaluating the susceptibility to FTD in both men and women. Brain Changes and Impact of Head Injuries Frontotemporal dementia, FTD, is characterized by distinct brain changes that contribute to the development of the condition. These changes often involve atrophy in specific regions of the brain, particularly the frontal and temporal lobes, which are essential for regulating behavior, personality, and language. As the nerve cells in these areas degenerate, individuals may experience pronounced alterations in their cognitive and emotional functioning, leading to the manifestation of FTD symptoms. For example, research conducted by Angel Golemstock, Nuria Campora, Juan Enrojas, Maria C. Fernandez, and Edgardo Cristiano in the Cognitive and Behavior Unit at the Hospital Italiano de Buenos Aires has shed light on the structural brain changes associated with FTD. Their work has revealed the progressive nature of atrophy in the frontal and temporal lobes, indicating the detrimental impact on nerve cells and their subsequent functional deficits. Moreover, the impact of head injuries, particularly those resulting from traumatic brain injury, TBI, has been a subject of interest in understanding the risk factors for FTD. Studies have shown a notable correlation between a history of TBI and an increased likelihood of developing frontotemporal dementia, underscoring the significance of head trauma as a potential contributor to the condition. These findings emphasize the importance of preventive measures and strategies aimed at reducing the risk of head injuries, as they may have implications for the development of FTD later in life. Potential preventive measures. When it comes to reducing the risk of developing frontotemporal dementia, FTD, incorporating proactive lifestyle choices is crucial for maintaining brain health. Regular physical activity, such as brisk walking, swimming, or dancing, has been associated with a lower risk of FTD. Engaging in at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise per week can contribute to overall brain health and potentially reduce the likelihood of developing FTD. In addition to physical activity, a balanced and nutritious diet plays a significant role in preventing FTD. Consuming a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats can support cognitive function and reduce the risk of FTD. 
For instance, incorporating foods high in antioxidants, such as berries and leafy greens, can help combat oxidative stress, which is linked to neurodegenerative diseases like FTD. Furthermore, participating in cognitive activities, such as puzzles, reading, or learning a new skill, can help maintain cognitive function and potentially lower the risk of FTD. Intellectual stimulation through activities that challenge the brain has been shown to promote neuroplasticity and cognitive reserve which are associated with a reduced risk of developing dementia, including FTD. Additionally, social interactions and meaningful relationships have been linked to cognitive resilience, potentially mitigating the risk of FTD. Managing medical conditions like hypertension and diabetes through regular checkups, medication adherence, and lifestyle modifications can also contribute to reducing the risk of FTD. By effectively managing these conditions, individuals may potentially lower their susceptibility to FTD and promote overall brain health. In conclusion, recognizing the complex interplay of risk factors linked to the development of frontotemporal dementia is essential for fostering awareness and advancing research efforts aimed at understanding and potentially mitigating these risk factors. By comprehensively examining the various elements contributing to the onset of frontotemporal dementia, researchers and healthcare professionals can better equip themselves to identify individuals at higher risk and potentially intervene to reduce the likelihood of developing this debilitating condition. Furthermore, the collaboration between multidisciplinary teams comprising neurologists, geneticists, and environmental health experts is pivotal in comprehensively exploring the intricate web of risk factors associated with frontotemporal dementia. For instance, ongoing research into the potential impact of air pollution on the development of frontotemporal dementia underscores the need for a holistic approach that encompasses environmental and lifestyle factors in addition to genetic predispositions. This integrated approach can yield valuable insights into the modifiable risk factors for frontotemporal dementia, potentially paving the way for the development of targeted preventive interventions and personalized risk reduction strategies tailored to an individual's unique risk profile.